Welcome back everyone to Operation Lone Ranger. We're doing turn three for Italy. Should be a pretty straightforward turn, pretty short. So let's jump right into it. We have uh, one tech roll and we've yet to hit on any technology so far. So uh, let's just try again, long range aircraft at eight or higher. Been really unlucky so far with this. And we miss again, that's <laughs> a six. Now, I mean, it is a slightly harder tech, you know, eight or higher, whereas a lot of the other techs are seven or higher. So we do have the odds against us with that. But uh, anyway, let's get into our purchases. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 11 to spend. We're going to go ahead and purchase another naval transport. That'll cost us seven. And then we're going to do two militia upgrade. That'll cost two each for four total. All right. All right, so two militia upgrades. And another naval transport. Okay, now for non-combat movement. Um, what do I want to do with those three coastal subs? Hmm. Well, this sub down here in A48 is going to come down too and join these German ships in A53. Um, and then these three coastal subs are going to come down into the Red Sea. That is I-5. That fleet will stay where it's at in M-6. Um, do, 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 let's see. We will just bridge over this uh, mountain infantry into Albania. So it's two mountain infantry now in Albania. Fighter will stay in southern Italy. And I think that's going to be it for our move, non combat moves. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, since the rule, I'm going to... Ordinarily, militia can't move outside a home country. Um, but because, according to the rule, you know, when we, when we got the strategic objective, it allowed us to place uh, these units down in facilities in any of these three territories of our choosing. Well, the rule states that outside a home country, you're not allowed to have more than one militia. Um, you can only have, um, the amount of militia that you can have in a territory is determined by its IPP value. Well, air trade doesn't have IPP value, so the maximum we can have there is one. Um, and so we're gonna move this guy into Italian Somaliland. The Southern Militia. No, we're going to put them in Abyssinia. Okay. Just so that we're in concordance with the rules there. So it, it makes sense because then you're basically, you're allowed to have units spread out when you achieve that strategic objective. They don't have to all be in one territory. Now, maybe it only applies to the militia, but the rule doesn't really specify. So just based on other rules, I guess we can kind of assume that the other militia needs to go somewhere else. So we're just going to do that. Um, everything else will stay where it's at. All right, let's place some units. We also have a, a heavy cruiser that we need to 
finish off and put on the board at some point. But it's not pressing right now. War is still a little bit away, a little bit of ways away. So uh, this transport will join this other naval transport in M5, and then uh, these two infantry upgrades. One will go into northern Italy, and the other one will go into Rome. Okay. That'll be it for Italy, and we will collect our typical 10 IPP for next turn. And that'll be it. Thanks for joining me. Um, next time we will do KMT, turn three for KMT and the United States. All right, take care and see you later. Bye.